Side Weather Deck is brought to you by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. Well, howdy, West Michigan. I'm meteorologist Aaron Offsider. Mostly cloudy skies right now. It is awfully windy outside. We just saw a wind gust in the Muskegon area to 59 miles per hour. I'm going to have to check the consumer's page to see if there's any power outages because, yeah, this is the kind of wind that can produce some power outages, bring down some tree limbs and what have you. Right now, though, we still have a little bit of rain to get to tonight. That's why the weather ball is blinking bright. This view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Storm snow totals around the area, two inches in Twin Lake and in Granton, Grant, uh, an inch and a third. And Grand Rapids, a whopping seven tenths of an inch of snow which is all gone uh, because temperatures continue to climb and also because of the angle of the sun this time of year. And Fremont, Michigan saw about a, a half an inch of snow. The lakeshore, generally speaking, saw uh, lower snow totals than that. And take a look at this, unbelievable. 59 mile per hour gusts in Muskegon. Hold on to your hat. East winds, 37 degrees as you look at the Furcano's tower camera. Grand Rapids right now, I imagine we're going to see some delays because of this. Winds gusting to 40 miles per hour, 36 degrees. Notice that camera at the Gerald R. Ford Airport shaking a bit. Uh, current temperatures outside right now in the 30s and 40s, 45 in Kalamazoo, plenty of sun to the south. It's 34 in Ionia and 33 in Big Rapids. Winds, current winds right now, ridiculous. Out of the east, uh, gusts to 41 in Holland, 35 in Kalamazoo. Unfortunately, this is going to be an issue not only today, but likely into the weekend as well. So uh, a little bit of precipitation is starting to clip uh, the uh, Lakeshore County. So this is going to begin to arrive in Oceana and uh, Mason counties. A little bit of light rain or light snow in the next couple of minutes. But most of the precipitation, the main event, so to speak, is this. The cold front from eastern Iowa into northern Missouri. This begins to arrive early tomorrow morning. Uh, in the meantime, still have blizzard warnings up from Colorado to Minnesota. Winter weather advisories for northern lower Michigan and into the UP. So the next 48 hours shows that front arriving here again tomorrow morning. Behind it, we're going to see rain continuing into around mid morning, but expect mainly dry conditions around midday. Friday afternoon, Saturday look to be quiet and very windy. And we're also concerned not only with thunderstorms, but also very heavy rain, an inch, an inch and a quarter potentially with uh, some of the higher amounts from this system, which is well to our east by Friday afternoon. But again, notice those tightly packed isobars, those lines of equal pressure. That speaks to just how windy it will continue to be. And so when you're talking about winds, which are going to be howling 40, 50, 60 miles per hour for day after day after day, uh, the increased risk is there certainly for power outages. There's also the risk for severe weather. We're in that marginal risk area late tonight and early Friday as that cool front arrives. Large hail and damaging winds unlikely better chances in yellow. Uh, Chicago, Peoria, Peoria South. But the main threats from this line of storms will be from extremely heavy rain and some lightning. So here's your 13 on target forecast. Our northwest counties again could clip get could get clipped by that uh, precipitation here in the next hour or so. So heads up Shelby, Hart, Pentwater, Ludington. Uh, but most of the afternoon is dry and windy. Overnight and early Friday we'll watch that cold front arriving. Rain could be heavy at times, maybe a rumble or two of thunder. We'll get a break Friday afternoon and Saturday. Windy and another round of rain on Sunday. And then very stormy the next week to 10 days. We're back in the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday with more rain and falling temperatures.